This is the last stray bead. Hey guys, I'm Sink. And I'm Echo. And we are back once again playing Okami. In the last episode, we... Oh... Ugh. We took care of the Demon Gates. We took care of the race with Kai. We did all the hard stuff. To be honest, we did that in three separate recordings. But we took care of that. You saw that in one or two. We have yet to see how I edit it. But either one or two episodes. Um, and in this episode, we are going... Uh, back to the Ark of Yamato as a quick reference point. We have 700,000 yen. We bought, we restocked everything. We've got 24 small, 23 medium, 16 larges, 13 infin in infinity stones, 21 steel fist sakes. <laughs> And it's 18 Soul Fist Sakes. Steel Soul Sake. Uh, really doubt we'll need this many, but we had over a million yen. We only used 300,000. So, and at this point, we don't need feed bags anymore either. So, we didn't even spend money on that. So, we could have done a lot more Infinity as well, but... We don't need we that don't much. We don't need to, so... That's where we're at. We have a lot of money, which is good. Because I don't know the requirement, but there's something in post-game. Uh, New Game Plus, which we'll be covering. Uh, that unlocks something very special if you have over a certain amount of yen collected. So, like I said, it's always good to keep collecting all the stuff that we've been collecting since. Like, demon fangs and money and all that stuff. But, that said, we have a rainbow bridge to... You know, I don't think we actually talked to anyone afterward. We just left. We left, yes. So let's, let's talk to everyone before we progress. Let's talk to everyone, yeah. Why not? Let's go talk to Oki. Hi, Oki. The wall of ice shattered and o and shad shall shatter and open the way to the heavens. When Kutune glows silver, you're still on about that, aren't you? Yes. The prophecy's wall of ice was not de the demon's blizzard. Rather, it is the ice on our perpetually frozen lake. Oh, you got more? <clears throat> Amaterasu, if that ark is the way to the heavens, then you must embark upon it. Though we have not known each other long, I can already tell that to, what sort of being you are. For you are the realm. For you, for you, the realm of the gods lies ahead. It is a journey that the rest of us cannot take. You knew that, didn't you, Mother Rossi? The Ark of Yamato. They say it fell from the heavens. It is indeed it. Imposing. imposing. Yes. Link is like, what? What's that? What's that thing? Tussle, I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Hi, Tussle. Uh, the, 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 the Ark of Yamato is floating in the sky. Uh, uh, oh, 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 how can such an enormous thing float into the sky like that? It must mean what the old legend says is true. Oh, okay. Okay, this again. The legend about how this Ark, which was sunk in Laoshi Lake, fell from the celestial plane into our world. It says the celestial who fell to our world with it were eaten up by countless vicious monsters. By the army wait, by the army controlled by the evil ruler of darkness, Yami. So the Ark of Yamato is related to the powers of darkness. Alright. Well Let's walk up this rainbow bridge. Let's walk up the rainbow road in our not Mario Kart. Yes. Wait, 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 Ami! You know what happened if you cross this rainbow bridge and board the Ark of Yamato, don't you? I mean, that boat is bad news. The people of Kamui all know that. It's the most hated and feared thing in all the land. 
Even legends have nothing good to say about it or Lao Chi Lake. And you know that, you know there's no turning back once you board that thing. Huh? You look like you want to say something. Resolve? You mean you got to, you've got the resolve to pass the point of no return? You have the resolve? Yes, this is the point of no return. We go in here, we cannot return back to just Nippon in general. So, we have done everything we need to do here. So, we have the resolve. I see. Well, I guess this is it then. Ami. Don't you go dying like you did 100 years ago. Alright. Oh, look. There's markings on mm -hmm. the side. One looks like you can do him, the other looks like a Rochi. Oh, wait a sec, Ami! Um, well, we've been through a lot together. How long has it been since we first met? It all started in the valley of Sakia's chest. <laughs> then we laid the smackdown on Orochi. Then that fox wrench. We even went inside an emperor's body. And traveled to the bottom of the sea. Then, before I knew it, I found myself back in my own land. And now it all ends with the appearance of the legendary art. But for you, it's just the start of an even greater adventure. Sorry, Ami. I'm afraid this is where we say goodbye. As I told you from the beginning, I joined you so that I could steal those 13 brush techniques of yours. We found them all during our travels. And now, each and every one has been etched into my mind. It's not like I mastered them yet, but... I plan on having loads of fun with my newfound skills. It's a bit sad to see you go, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Take care of yourself, pal. No, I mean, no! Look, you're a god. I'm a sprite. We live in completely different worlds. The road ahead may be tough, be a tough one, but it's one you're just gonna have to walk alone. Heh, <laughs> I know, I know. It's just, I got things I gotta do too, you know? Now, let's, now let's wrap this up. I can't stand long goodbyes. Farewell, my furry friend. Hold it right there, furball! How many times do I have to tell you? We gotta go our separate ways! Now leave me alone, you thick-headed lump of fur! He's right, Mashari. Your way lies with this arc. Again. At last, at last, the path to the heavens has opened up. Oh, fantastic. How long have I yearned for this moment? 200 years? No, it must be much longer. Bah! What are you blabbing on about your, now, you big fruit cake? A path to the heavens? On that creepy old hunk of junk? What a fitting exit for a half-baked prophet like you! I have no idea what you're up to, and frankly, I don't care. I'm not a part of this anymore, so I'm gonna split. Have fun, you two! Afraid of the legendary arc, are we? What did you say? Well, if you must go, then go. Besides, only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may be, may be bored. 
the fabled Ark of Yamato. You never had a thicket. Ticket. You never had a thicket. You never had a ticket, and you never will. Why, you witless, stupid, half brain prophet! You're just trying to trick me into getting on that stupid boat! I'm not gonna fall for something like that! I'm no fool, so there! Wait a sec, I know! Maybe I should board, just hop on board your little boat! Yeah, and then... I should tear the place apart as a little party gift to you! <laughs> Don't blame me. I already told you. Only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may board. But you didn't need me to tell you that, my little bouncing friend. You know very well why you can't board this ark. Do I not? Do I speak the truth, little celestial envoy? Well, it's about time. Ah! My little friend, I have another prophecy for you. Listen up, because this will no doubt come in handy for you. It takes two to tango. The bond of the brush shall intercede. <laughs> What's that? I thought I'd give you the long version, since it was my last. Pretty good, don't you think? Those unwilling to fulfill their own destiny cannot board the ferry to the celestial plane. Life is all about resolve. Outcome is secondary. It is resolve that determines the value for your life. You have no doubt met many such res resolute people in your journey. Well, my little bouncing friend, I must bid you adieu. Shall we, ma chérie? We have a date with Destiny, and we must, mustn't keep her waiting. The Ark of Yamato. Alright, first off here, we've got Marco. My goodness, I can hardly believe it. My eyes have been en enveloped in darkness all this time. But I know when I see a divine being before me. Okami Amaterasu, you've returned home. I, Marco, would like to welcome you on behalf of all Celestials. Oh, I made a mistake. I said that you'd returned home, but of course I was wrong. This is the inside of the dreaded Ark, which fell from the heavens. It's nothing like our wonderful plane home, the Celestial Plane. Alas, solely my spirit remains in this world. It's been imprisoned here for many years. Perhaps it was my destiny. Okami Amaterasu. I'd be so grateful if you could br bestow upon us a small gift. Not only for me, but for others who su succumb to death. In exchange, I will give you what I can. I'm sure that it would lift everyone's spirits. Yeah, let's give an offering! Sure. Ah, oh, that's right, it's a shop. My bad. 
So we can get <laughs> one last shot at grabbing in this stuff. Now, we could put this... We could buy the wood mat, and that would heal all our wounds. It's over time, correct? I think it's over... You make... You give a... You give money to heal. It's pretty much an end. Right. Um, I will just buy this because we can. Why not? We have over 200. Um, and we don't really need travelers or guard charms. Uh, not really. And we have 15 golden peaches. We do not need that. So, we... Not saying I'm going to die, because I'm not. But, if I were to, I have more than enough golden peaches to refill those pouches. So, we are good. Now, let's talk to him again and see what he has there. Now, if we talk to him again, we can offer up our money. So, money. And he is a shop. Right here, we have the our last chance for the... Uh, Tundra beads. Tundra beads. Yeah, I, you can't see it, so I was trying to guess. We have the gold dust. We are going to buy the two that he has. These are the last two gold dust pieces that we have in the game. Um, you know what? Two more infinity stones just to have a 15. But we are good. Like I said, we have tons of money. Yeah. So. We didn't even use half of it. Uh, we don't have anything to sell. So let's head into our uh, our tools and use the gold dust. And we have our last two weapons. The Tundra Beads and the Eighth Wonder. Like I said, um, we have everything. We sh briefly showed off the uh, Eighth Wonder. But yeah, we're gonna be mostly sticking with the the topmost weapons for for our fights in here. Now, don't know if it's gonna be explained if we get up any closer, but here is one last save mirror. Um, note that if you save here, unless you go back to a previous save file, you can't go back. So save here at your own risk or multiple save file. And if we look around, we see a couple uh, engravings. Some look uh, pretty familiar. Let's uh, let's do them in order of how we met them. So the spider one first. So we're doing the spider queen first. Yes. So let's go ahead and take care of that before. Uh, we uh, end the episode off because we're getting close, but I think it'll be wrong for us to leave you guys hanging here. Goodness, if I'm not mistaken, you're from our home, the Celestial Plane. It's you, Okami Amaterasu. Who would have thought we would meet again after all this time? All my waiting under the dark, cold ice has paid off. We Celestial may have lost our physical form, but our spirits live on and are with you for all eternity. We were heartbroken after the battle on the Celestial Plane, when you fell to this world with that monster. We managed to escape before it happened, but little did we know the tragedy what the tragedy that was about to befall us. After we ran away from the battle, we boarded the Ark of Yarmato, hoping to get away. But not long after we set sail, countless monsters appeared from the depths of the Ark. Having nowhere to run, all of us were devoured by the monsters. This ark, which was built by the lunar civilization, turned out to be a cargo ship designed to transport thousands of monsters. Not long after City Cell, the ark lost its rudder and plummeted down to this world. The celestials on board each and every one of us were slain. I don't know why the moon tribe built such a thing, but when the ark fell to this world and brought such tragedy, well, it was nothing but short of a disaster. Okami Amaterasu. It seems that the Ark has begun to move again after all this time. But this place is not is a nest of dark beings. 
Please take care not to be sucked into the darkness. All right. With that, let's head in and once again face the Spider Queen. Hello. We have uh, fought your your kind a lot recently. Many times over have have uh, we fought those like you. Do we not get that last? Do we not get that last one? Uh, that one's not working either. Not work? That one I went too far on. What? That was... Okay, well... You can't go on the butt. It drains, um, your ink. Okay, there's that. There's that. And... There's that. That should be three. There we go. There we go. And let's go ahead and use uh use the L. Oh my gosh. You might as well just power slash the rest. Yeah, why not? Or not. Well, all right, fine. We have to do this again. Very well. There we go. There we go, they weren't fully out yet. There's one. There's two. Nope, Four, that was wind. wind. No, just go to the other side. No. No, come on. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? <laughs> the answer is it shouldn't be. Okay, that's one. Two. Grab an easier flower. Three. Do another one. Oh, that was only. What is up with this? This is like also incredibly anticlimactic. I don't understand. It's like whenever we try to vine, it's not doing it. Two. Don't bother with the one that you can't see. Honestly. I can't even see the hooks. One. Two. No. No. Two. No. Ugh, and you good. spin! <clears throat> What's going on? Why is it so hard to vine? And the thing is, sometimes I see the vine come, but it doesn't make the mark thing, so it's not actually doing it. See? Didn't actually do it. And you, Spider Queen, are being a huge pain. Just die already. Two. 
to. What? That was only showed one! Don't go across the butt. When you try to draw on the butt, it doesn't work. There's no hook. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. Oh my god. That took longer than it should have. Okay. Inferno that shit. There you go. Fuck it. Well, that was incredibly anticlimactic. Talk about it. Um, also, incredibly frustrating. What is up with the thing? Also, we got money. Like we needed it. <clears throat> Last minute money, guys. <clears throat> With the Spider Queen, or the memory of Spider Queen, gone. Once we return. And head back out of here. Okami on Matarasu. It seems one of the dark beings has disappeared. If only all the evil power will leave our midst. Then I'm sure the Ark will return to the celestial plane. Ah, I was ready for immortality. But now it seems the time has come for my spirit to take leave. It brought joy to my heart to have met you before I depart. I hope that you will return to the celestial plane, Matarasu. And that you will bring light to the wor this world once more. Man, she departed like she died. Yeah. Rather than like peacefully departing. Well, with uh Spider Queen down, we uh will continue on with our next one. Which would be That one. Yes. Crimson Helm in the next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye!